Now see here, there are certain characteristics of standing waves. First one is here, the disturbances are confined to a particular region between a starting point and a reflecting point. So, you have, if you have taken one starting point, another is a reflecting point. So, all the disturbances are confined within this region. Now, second one, no onward motion of the disturbances here. So, in the standing wave, there is no onward motion. It means actually there is no flow of energy or transfer of energy along the stationary wave. Third one is here, there are certain points in the medium in a stationary wave which are permanently at rest are called nodes and points vibrating with maximum amplitude are called anti nodes. So, there are the certain point in the stationary wave which are permanently at rest, they are referred as nodes and which one the particle or the points which are vibrating with maximum amplitude are called anti nodes. And see here the distance between two consecutive nodes is lambda by 2 and the distance between two consecutive anti nodes is also lambda by 2 that is here written here as the six property. And the distance between one anti node and one node adjacent node is here lambda by 4. And now the fourth one is here the medium is splits up into number of segments and each segment is vibrating up and down as whole. So, in the formation of a standing wave if you have taken a string, so whole the medium gets a split into the number of segments and each segment vibrate up and down as whole. So, now the fifth property is there also the distance between two consecutive nodes is lambda by 2 and two uh, consecutive anti node is lambda by 2. The sixth one also we can include like this uh, like that here the distance between one node and adjacent anti node is lambda by 4. And also see here in that case the time period and wavelength of the standing wave is equal to the component waves. It, it means the waves which are forming standing waves. Now see a standing waves in a strings and normal modes of vibration. So now see here suppose you have got a string like this of length L and its two ends are fixed. These two ends are here the fixed point and the, you can say the rigid support. Incident wave is going from this side like this and it is reflected from this side. So, this one we take as here the incident wave and another one is taken here reflected wave. See here the wave is being reflected from the rigid support. So, there is a phase reversal or you can say phase difference of 180 degree. So, for incident wave we can write down here the wave which is going from left to right we can write y 1 x t is equal to here a sin omega t minus k x. And for the wave which is being reflected we can write y 2 x t is equal to a sin omega t plus k x plus pi there is a phase reversal of pi that is 180 degree. So, we can write here minus a sin omega t plus k x. Now, according to principle of superposition we can write here y 1 plus y 2. So, we can write y is equal to a sin omega t minus k x plus here that is here the minus here. So, we will we will be getting a sin omega t plus k x. So, this is the equation here. We can solve this equation by using the formula sin alpha minus sin beta is equal to twice of cos c twice of cos here that is alpha plus beta by 2 sin alpha minus beta by 2. By using this formula we can solve this.